Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wildemit. Since the last time we played through chapter one of the first tutorial campaign, I guess we'll call it, there has been an update. I didn't read through the patch notes too closely, but I think they nerfed the Mystic a little bit. Additionally, I've heard from, I think, four or five separate sources now that this campaign could be a disaster and is actually really difficult, and that, of course, makes me very, very excited. Uh, number one, though, we're going to come over here and recruit someone right out of the gate. I think... I'm actually not 100% sure what I want. Ah, oh, look at this guy! A goofish poet! He'll fit right in! Actually, that's literally what Christine is. Uh, at the same time, though, who doesn't mind a bit of a goofish poet? Let's recruit him. I think I like this guy. Badoom! Now... But the crashes has reached Cooper Settle. I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. Well, we haven't been around that long, but if you want, I could sign your, uh... Huh? Listen, what if I told you my father was a renowned cowherd? Not because he was good with cattle, but because he beat a bull god in combat and won him good fortune. And then Grandpa? Legend is, he threatened a flood so severely that it turned on its tail before it reached Cooper Settle. Which is why the town continues to be known for its unmatched magical artifact museum. I think I've heard that story. The point is, my blood is the blood of exceptional people. You know what kind of pressure comes with that? And so I've been searching for a chance any chance to snag some renown on my own. Let me join you. Right then. Let's see if we can't channel that hero juice into something useful. Hmm. <laughs> Dopey it looks as a wizard. All right, this is going to be Monk, who won the first random roll for the first character. So let's go for, I think, Warrior Monk. Now, I'm not sure this is a great idea, uh, but my thinking here is, if I have two warriors, one of them could die, and I'll live. <laughs> that's that's my plan. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's first of all we have to train them. Looks like we're gonna need to put Puriel in here to train them. Anyone else will take forty days, whereas Puriel will take twenty days, and you can only have one character doing it. This is perfect. Uh, now I can send myself and Christine over here to Hogkins to explore the East Timbers, it looks like. 48 days of travel time. Periel and Christine have an idea. Oh, you do, do you? Right now? Really? Right now? Okay, let's take a look. Long way to go, I guess. Why does it always feel like I've got a long way to go? Hey, Periel. Never thought I'd find you. So I decided to follow my nose. And here you are. Maybe take a bath sometime? You're not a doctor. Well, I found this poster on the back wall of the cake place. I had to show someone. Think you're a hero? Dreaming of glory? Dream no more. I'm Clint Fleet, and we need you. Come to the land heroes forgot. Bring a new age of hope to the needy. Clint Fleet. Where was this? Behind the cake place? And you're thinking of answering the call? What? No. I was just going to make a constipation joke about his face. Wait, what? Oh, that's original. But here's something I thought of. How would you feel about a nice long trip? to figure out how much trouble this Clint person is in. We could offer our own services. You mean like uh, plumbing services? I don't know what the hell I'm choosing. <laughs> like, I should have just bought a cake <laughs> or another big mug of sweet and loopy until we're swimming. All right. Uh, I think if we do this one, we go to save him. So Christine should have just bought a cake. All right, well then, this is a bit awkward. Select heroes, all three heroes, let's go. 
Fantastic. The story continues. How much farther today? My ankles feel like beehives. This part of the world is full of tall trees. The earth smells like pepper and ash. Sometimes a cicada bellows, and then it goes quiet. Until we find a good spot, I guess. A good spot? Remember that place we left behind? Remember my private room and the bed where I slept without unexpected spider buddies? That was a good spot. Sorry, Christine, but I don't think rest is what we found. Or did I hear you correctly? Do you know how many times we've got that excuse? You think we should just protect you for free, is that it? Isn't that the guy from the poster? Oops, who drew that beef thing? Fine, you don't want to pay. Well, I hope the goblins decide to spare your land. They have been awfully burny lately, haven't they, pal? Right you are, Sir Clint. Burny, burny goblins. All right, all right. Here, yeah, it's all I've been saving. I don't know what we'll live on now. It's really not much. Yuck. What is this? Copper? Why is it all mold color? Uh, bite my esophagus and call me Venti. Fine, keep it, you ungrateful codger. But next time, it's double. Ugh, I'm getting soft. What do they do all day that they cannot afford their own protection fee? Ho oh there! We're travelers! We came looking to be heroes! Are you Flint? Oh, who? I'm Clint. Oh, you must have seen my poster. What a pose, right? Yar. Didn't I tell you that poster would get a couple, pal? Annoyingly, yes. You told me exactly that. Hey, Puriel, he thinks we're a couple. That must make you feel good. I didn't mean it that way. Well, sure. Come on back to the castle then. I think we've got a table for a few more. Of course, you have to be able to fight. Think you can handle a goblin? Goblins? Brother, listen. I only have time for hobgoblins. Mm hmm Well, these are goblins. Right. Goblins, too, I was going to say. Hobgoblins plus goblins. I've got time for both. Later? You're not from the area? Well, that's good. I'm Dace. My name's Christine. Pretty nice, right? I approve, in a way. I imagine it's a pretty motivating place to live. Yes, I mean, it's a work in progress. But the cellars are still intact. Come on. This little operation you're looking at didn't all happen in a day. Took me a while to scrape enough brave souls together. What mommy is to say. She said, tell me the name of a brave soul and I'll ask what height to make the coffin. Mammy was a carpenter, is the explanation. Oh, and here's where we get down to business. Bed rolls, buckskins, biscuit rolls, bag of coins, breakfast buns, and boiled beans. Yes, your business. That's what we need to talk about. Oh? We saw how you shook down that old man today. Period. Tell me, do you steal from everyone, or just the folk who can't fight back? You're saying, aren't I ashamed? Well, no, I'm not. In this world, the strong survive. If you can't find a way to live, you don't deserve to. And you think strength is what you've got? Look in my eyes. The strength you have is a show, a costume. You wear it in front of your friends, your enemies, the people you want to impress. This weapon ain't exactly make-believe, fella. Those who deal out death someday find a violence returned to them in doubled force. Tell me truly, 
Are all of you prepared to die for the coins you scrape from the throats of these farmers? We get the point. We're very sorry. Here, look. We're all leaving now. Happy? Mmm. You've done a real good deed, saving us from our own selves. Thanks for heroing. Hey, don't listen to that ugly-hearted barbarian. We've done what we could. Truth, you can flaunt your virtues all you like. Pretend you're better than us. But you're not. You just got born the right place. Excuse me? I joined these cravens because I didn't have other option, but you! Anyway, I want to get away from here. You got room for one more? You're not having second thoughts, are you, kid? Mm hmm. Oh, sorry, I just never went this far from home before. They won't stop, you know, those brigands. How do you teach a bear who's tasted meat to stick to berries? Well, I suppose sometimes a bear needs to be put down. But is it us that does that? If not us... People can change. Sometimes it just takes one. Woo! What a ridiculously long amount of stuff. So we were recruiting someone, but now we picked up little A-Law Arkham. Arkham sounds like a mage. Imperial came back from... Wait. Imperial came back from his journey with an altered outlook and a lighter burden. Ready for the challenges that lay ahead. I'm gonna give Imperial armor so maybe he can actually survive, although I am fascinated by Raider being able to start fires anywhere. However, I have Ignite, so it's probably less important. That was one hell of a way to start a campaign. My golly gee willikas, Batman. Where can we train this man? Okay, first of all, let's come over here. Uh, let's send Imperial here to do the training. Selected heroes, Aelor Arkham. No, 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 no. I want to send Imperial there. He'll be way, way faster. Uh, then over here, I want to continue scouting, as was always the plan. I suppose we can send all of us, although Aelor Arkham... Does he have a, a ma level zero warrior? Oh, he comes as a warrior, then. We don't have to train him. Well, in that case, let's send... First of all, let's rename him. Welcome, Zerujin Arkham. Well, I sp spelt that completely wrong. To the fold, thank you very much for your support. I guess you're a warrior then, are you? You know what? We can bring him with us, I suppose. See if I can actually cancel this. You know, I can put him over here for training. This is actually perfect. And then the three of us can continue on over here for scouting. Perfect. Landloth Denroot is now a green horn warrior. Look at him. Monk, that's you. Ooh, I really like Stalwart. He could hang out, like, behind someone and buff them up with armor. As a free action, once per combat, Landloth grants three armor to himself or a nearby ally for two turns. Well, it is only once per combat, but that once per combat is an incredibly important amount. I'm gonna go with that one. Now, let's rename little Landloth over here as well. Welcome, Monk to the colony. All right. That's actually a pretty sizable amount right there, I will say. I think down here in the Shearer Forest we can scout with both the warriors. Yes, the East Timbers has been revealed. Torokan's Smithery, Lyricking Gorgons. Assault the Torokan Smithery, we will go. Uh, do we need extra people? I don't think so. It shouldn't be all that bad. Did you see the huge moth that landed in Xavier's hair earlier today? How could I not? And you weren't going to say anything? <laughs> he walked around with that thing sticking out at a jaunty angle for like an hour. <laughs> hey, tell me a story. You're the gal with the stories. Right? Hmm. Well, what would you like to hear? Nothing too fantastic. Just tell me something that happened to you. Hmm. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Christine told Puriel about a blue jay who used to perch just outside her kitchen window. The bird's trust was more easily won than that of most wild creatures, especially with the nuts from Christine's pantry. I called him Scuttlebutt, even though he probably would not have approved. He always cocked his head as if he were listening. And there was a lot for him to hear. It was a time of breaking downs and movings on. Hmm. Do I want to know what happened to him? Same thing that happens to all who walk or fly this path, I imagine. Funny thing though, the last time he visited, he brought me a present. A stone, not too big, but almost perfectly round. I've kept it ever since, wearing its surface smooth with any worries or thoughts I have. It ever given you any good advice? Eh, if rocks have any insight, they speak it more deeply than a person can hear. It listens, and that's enough. Faux cards. Ooh, they have an enraged one. Uh-oh. A true gorgon. A bogmore and a raccoon. Maybe I shouldn't have brought just the three of us. Oh, uh, where'd you go, little buddy? Catch the spirit. Okay, that's the secondary. Well, I can tell you right now this is going to be a nightmare. They're all inside. Ooh. Okay, let's silk step up to the door. Completely hidden. Our Imperial move up next to the door as well. Uh, and then most likely I'm going to want to be over here with this thing on fire. I think I'll ignite it right now. <laughs> okay, now, I don't know where the spirit went, but it's either stuck in there or it's already gone. We're not going to catch it regardless, so I'll move over here. We'll buy one more uh, turn now that I'm in position where I want to be. And open the door. Yes. The Gorgon. Whew. That thing is not joking. So the plan is as such. I want to make sure the Gorgon is pinned. Reason being that it's pinning toxin that it'll use from range doesn't deal that much damage. If it slashes for seven to nine, that will kill literally everyone except Puriel, and even then he'll have no health left. So we pin him, he'll do a pinning toxin in return for one to three, not a big deal. We can't kill everyone. Uh, I can, however, kill the raccoon this turn. He does five to six from range. So let's use Christine. Ooh. Prepared shot's a free action. What? Why would that be a free action? Okay. Toodles, buddy! Arm is ignored because we were in the plane. There goes our hidden. We still have an action. What? Did I miss something? Ah. Uh, okay. We use the shoot through shot rather for five damage. I, of course, will have to use the fire leash from here. That's a good amount of damage right there. Six with a 14% for stunt. However, if I remember correctly. No, it's over here. Yeah. If I remember correctly. With Periel, who I'm now a comrade, I have a 15% plus stunt chance when walling with Periel. Meaning, if I were to move over here before using my ability, I'll be walling with Periel, and I now have 15% more chance to stunt. Let's see if it's reflected in the card. 29% stunt. Okay. That could be very fascinating. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Six damage. One warded. He's down to four hit points. Fascinating. We can attack, but we'll only deal three, unfortunately. There's no way to safely do this, and this thing hits way too hard. So I am indeed going to use the throw net. 87%. I really don't like to do it, but it is the smartest thing. Then we'll go on Guardian. Not that he can move here, but he'll have to use his ranged attack here. We're all walled. Yes, I do some evasive maneuvers and he smashes the ground for no reason. All right, boy, if that's what you want to do. Now, I think 
Single action ignite. I thought they nerfed this a little bit, but it doesn't look anywhere near as bad. Not that it particularly matters right now, because I could just toss this fire right here. Vroom! He's dead. All right, we're a lot stronger in chapter two than I expected. A move up to avoid the corroded ground. We'll ambush the door. I'm not sure if things will come through that door or not. I'm going to just throw up Guardian here while we're all walled and see. Pretty sure they're not going to. Catch the spear is gone. The spear done had tootled, boys. Corrosion's off the ground. Fantastic. Let's go sneaky sneak. Okay, so the plan is get Christine in position. I want a wall with Puriel, but I want to move back here, and I want to actually move the fire from here to here. Fantastic. I'll move it over there, then I'll get behind Puriel. Oh! Are they coming through the door? Does the door have hit points? I'm not actually sure how to see that. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to move the fire over there, then. I'm going to have Christine move away, because I'm worried now. Have her ambush right here in case something does come through. Oh! Oh, hello, boys! How's it going? Whoo! Now we are talking. Well, I can fire leash right on in. 100% or 100% rather. Boom! I didn't move up here to wall with Pyril for the extra stunt because I wasn't 100% sure how it would work. Uh, ideally, though, Christine has the prepared shot, which is a free action. But do Now, the fire gives us line of sight, and I can see that there's nothing in there, so I'm not too concerned, but... Only we still have two action points, I believe. Yep, move over there, ambush up here, just in case they come through. Imperial can move up and guard. Now, it's, they just have the Rager, and I really wish I still had the net, but alas, I don't. I'm gonna leash this up. Ooh, we can leash it inside now. Ooh, that's so cool. I also really like how Christine can move 8 million tiles. <laughs> okay. Now the last thing's gotta be... Yep, there he is. He's searching. I wonder if I can move the fire without actually... S I can. I can move the fire without seeing the fire. Behind the wall and everything. We can ambush with Christine. We can go on guard with Pyriel. Come on, buddy. Oh, he found us. Prepared shot for 10 through his armor, Pyriel. Knockback smash. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You want a bit of the old? Burnation. Last time I encountered one of these, he done dispatched of our leg and our arm. This time, we crashed him into the ground, and I am now a mystic. Whoo! Interesting. Earth Scribe allows allies to wall with things that I am interfused with. Hmm. But it's advanced interfusion abilities for stones and bones versus arches. Save your bones with the earth and summons from and summons from seedling and silt, a wondrous tree that pins surrounding enemies. Huh. That's only going to be on certain maps, though. Then again, this is only going to be on certain maps as well. I do really like the pinning. Like, a lot. Although, walling for free far away sounds great. This is very difficult. I'm going to go with archers, though. I really like handling the wood. You found Sure Smokes Gnaw. Fascinating. Six damage, 1.6. How does this compare to Puriel? It's plus one damage. Minus one wield. Plus one shred with zero knockback. Hmm. A well-made great axe. Now, Zarujin has an old sword and a lumber axe. His lumber axe is vastly inferior. 
The old sword's also vastly inferior. Monk has the Dark Phantom Slash, a tier one dueling sword. Hmm. I think uh, Zerujin's gonna need to replace the old, the old sword for sure. That or the axe. The old sword seems to have an accuracy bonus, so let's replace the lumbering axe over here. Well, it is two-handed, but at the same time, if we really need to smash something super strong, I suppose. Good on your side, Christine. You don't need to worry about me, Puriel. I had it handled. But look, there's a building over here. Nice of the roof to have holes in it so we can look around. <gasps> hey, come check this out. Uh, you found a dead body? Rats? No, I mean, yes, she's dead, but don't you see? Look at the shield. No nasty crook that you ever saw escape the stomp of the dragon's paw. They didn't sing you those songs? This is the shield of Althira. Hmm. Whole lot of good it did her in the end. You found the dragon paw shield. Okay. So it's a shield that has the same basic one less damage from non-flanking attacks. It gives half a point of bonus damage. Shields reduce damage from non-flanking attacks by one. So it's kind of like just an extra half a point of bonus damage when you're, when you're hitting something. I suppose I should give this to one of these guys. Uh, let's say Monk. He's got no shield whatsoever right now. Boom. Yes, there you go, Monk. Looking beautiful. Calamities! Angered bears are upon us. A new card is added to the Gorgon deck. The deck is more dangerous now. Whew. All right. Well, both of these boys look like they're done over here, ready to move out uh, to their scouting location. They're going to take quite a long time to get there, it looks like. 54 days of travel time, 25 days remaining. Interesting. Uh, up here now, the four or three of us, rather, could secure the smithery, which will give us three ingots. I do remember ingots being rather rare, and I wanted them the last chapter, so I think we will stay here and secure the smithery. Hard to crack a smile for some reason. <laughs> Investigate thoroughly. Yeah, this is a good question here. It does take a long time. But at the same time, I need items for my two new characters, so let's do that. 35 days. Done. Okay. We found the Golden Blade of Miri. A sword tier one. Five damage, three wield. A well-made sword. Well, it's a straight upgrade to the old sword on Zerujin. And it looks to be sort of a downgrade to the Dark Phantom Slash, except for an upgrade to damage. So let's give it to a straight upgrade to Zerujin. Although plus one ingot wouldn't be bad either. Maybe I should start thinking about actually salvaging things. We found a Talisman of Cunning. Five melee accuracy, five range accuracy. Well, Christine really needs to hit every time she does attempt. And plus, it's a trinket. But do everything pretty, friends. Everything pretty she gets. Claim. Not enough things on her, I reckon. In any event, we can bring the entire squad down here now. Seventy days travel time. Seems rather absurd. <laughs> The Lofty Cursed Star. Ooh, spur of a moment. Christine and Imperial make an absurd bet. All right, then. Imperial, you look lost. You're at a festival. It's not for me. Not tonight. Blood stains every horizon, doesn't it? Can't afford to let our guard down. Yeah? Well, you don't have to stay. But... Um, I'm still trying to do my part. Community spirit. Right, yeah. 
A game of dice can change your life. How about it? Later. That was Bottle Dog Bonkers. It was lucky. Honestly, though, do you have a secret? I've never seen someone roll that well. No secret. I get on these streaks sometimes. Cards, dice, coins. But now you mention it. I've always wondered what would happen if we were just to pick a direction. A direction? Just pick a direction and go. If I'm really on a hot streak, well, I bet you will find a magic item somewhere. A magic item? Seriously? All right, I'm game. Bet you for a new pair of socks. How about that? Oh, God. <laughs> what am I getting myself into? <laughs> I don't... Okay, let's get Monk out of here. Let's put me in. Apparently, I was ahead of everyone else. The three of us together again, boys. Betting the socks. Calamities! The Thrixel Dweaver 2. The old card is replaced with a new, stronger card of the same type. The Sky Sinker. A new card is added to the D Draven deck. Ram Rager Stampede 2. Woken Fighters Row Swarm 3. Thrixel Thrust 3. Again, now they're two points to cancel. We have eight points, but I'm not really sure I should use them. This is where experience would come in. So these guys are scouting, and this down here is Fionia's Villa. And this is where we can continue our quest with the three of us. All right, well, we'll let them scout as we come down here. Oh, by the way, we have 51 days until the next incursion and 124 days to the next calamities. I see the edge of the forest. So this forest has an edge. That's nice. All things are bound to have limits. Including my patience. Look, it was a joke in the first place, wasn't it? Keep walking until we find a what? A magic item? What even is that? Nice to take a little trip, but the trip's no longer little. Come on, Christine. Time to go back to our lives. All right. But can't we at least check out that castle first? Where there's presumably a magic item. Follow me, Puriel. No sense being delicate. I say we go in the front way. Think about the people who once lived here. Their loves, their wants, their battles and joys. I'm more focused on what might be living here now. The dim holes are broken and falling in. Their steps scuff dust off the stones. Excuse me, mouse. Can see straight through the upper floor. Aha! Hey, that's life, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I am glad we stuck this out. Now, about the bet. What happens to the winner? The loser buys them nice socks. But I'll be lenient if... Interesting. Well, I'm afraid you spoke too soon, Soxy because there's always a second chest. Why wouldn't there be? Burk. Oh. Burk. <laughs> a batch B1 and a spectic one. Noisy as an anvil tossed down a stairwell, it rolls smoothly back to its feet at each stumble. Interesting. Gears crick and knuckles crack. Its one grasping claw reaches and strains. Okay. I don't have a clue what these things are, so that means one and thing and one thing only. Be sneaksy sneaks. What is this thing, by the way? A loom? Bone and gar. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so much for sneaksy sneak. I moved the wrong character. <laughs> 
Can I interfuse with that there fire? The answer is no. The tree gives me wild grass. This gives me bone lance. Bone lance is not that. We'll yoink that for later, and I'll move over here next to Puriel for the walling. Plus, I have the tree for cover. All right, these don't look bad at all. Unless this thing can move a million miles. One of the things of the most recent patch is that it added movement range to the cards. Or at least it was supposed to, but I don't see it here. Hmm. Let's see what the Spectic does. Slam for three to four. Not a huge deal. It's got six hit points and two armor. Spectic gains armor and blocking from being near allies. Okay. The Batch B has seven to nine grab. Woo! Ten health, three armor, three warding. And it engages the target, forcing it to attack her. Wow. They can taunt our guys, forcing them to attack. Fascinate. Batch B increases dodge and damage from being near allies. So ideally we want to separate them, but that doesn't look all that easy. All right, I'm going to try my new ability here. It's called Arches. Before I do, though, uh, I think I want to use my Interfuse. Single action with the fire. Boom. Just curious what the fire leash would do if I could move it over there. I actually can't move it there. Okay. Oh, I can actually Bone Lance both of them by attacking the target behind them. That's fascinating, but that's nowhere near enough. I really want to try uh, the Arches. Single action ends the turn. So I do that right here on this blue tile, and it's a 79% chance to pin that stubby bubby. Supposedly, he can roll out of it. Blocked. All right, well, we gave it a whirl. Look at that, boys. I just literally summoned a whole tree. Huh. Well, that is far, far, far less than ideal. So let's use the net here to s hopefully 81% pin the batch bee. Ba -doop. Nice. Now, can he roll out of this, I wonder? It said that in the card, in the description, but I don't see any abilities that allow that. So instead, I'm gonna go for a Guardian. And stay walled next to me. And then Christine can come over here. Doot, 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 doot. With a bit of the old ambush right there. Let's see what they do. Boom! Nine damage, Spectix Tootle. That guy smashed the tree, because that's all he can do. And that's the end of the turn. Not bad. God, the fire leash is just so good. Like, how can I ever not fire leash when given the chance? <laughs> Bernadette. Meanwhile, Christine can do the through shot, or she can just... No, that's literally all she can do is the through shot. Should be enough. Wow! Stunt for four bonus? I was going to say it should be enough with Puriel, but then boom! You found Fortune's Guard! I'll take that, Puriel! Seven stunt, seven dodge, seven block. I think it's much better than Christine's bare strength strap, even though the other two could really use something because they have literally nothing. But I'm more concerned with keeping Christine, myself, Imperial alive. And this dodge and block is fantastic for her. The strap of faith actually works pretty good for Imperial increasing his dodge and block anyway. So there we go. Plus, it's going to look really fancy with everything else she has. Badoom! This guy's done! Mmm, bone in ham. That's what I'm craving. Oh well, time to see who really won the bet. Must we? Flip. A short while later. I don't really get it. Don't get what? No, it's a good thing. I'm just... Since I don't know when, maybe all my life, things tend to break my way. Not always, but I've recognized it's abnormal. Little stuff, usually. It's those small, spur-of-the-moment kind of coincidences. That just slide perfectly into place? Right. Right. Well, I owe you a pair of socks, I suppose. And they better be new this time. <laughs> what the hell has happened? <laughs> Calamities! The Mind Worm. This monster is now stronger. There are so many things in this game I've never even seen before. Look at them all! Millions and millions and millions of things. Wow. Christine came back from her journey with a tempered heart and eyes unclouded, ready for the challenges that lay ahead. 
I want to give her traverse so she can run away and not die and also get into position to do crazy flanks. Plus she can move through scenery now too. Fantastic. All right, well, I suppose since we're here, we'll go on patrol with all three of them. Ah, uh, we have revealed the Shira Forest. Occupied by a lurking Deepus. Deepus may ambush this tile. Wow, having the two of them out there scouting is so ridiculously dangerous. Like, it's really, really, really ridiculously dangerous. I think down here, maybe we should just gather everyone. Come on, boss. Don't get ambushed on your way. Oh, no. Think fast. Well, let's sharpen the blade, I guess. The Chosen Horn Children and Woken Fighters. Oh my god. Uh, broad sweeps. Alright, boys. Are these two noobs gonna be crashed in the next episode? Or are they going to heroically prevail against all odds? I guess you guys will find out next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Oh! He found us prepared shot for 10 through his armor, Puriel. Knockback smash. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Uh, a nation. Last time I encountered one of these, he done dispatched of our leg and our arm. This time, we crashed him into the ground, and I am now a mystic. <laughs>